Okay, let's start with the cell codes. Huh? So for cells, as you can see, right, cells, uh, what is the cell? Cell is, of course, all this we have gone through before. Cell is a basic unit of life. It's the smallest unit of life. And they come in different shapes and sizes and structures, and they carry out their own specific function. Every cell has its own function. Your red blood cell, your cheek cell, your hair cell, your muscle cells, your skin cells all have a different function. Okay, it means it, it, means it does different things. And everything, all living things are made up of cells. Your whole body is made up of cells. Okay, fun fact, yeah, your whole body have a total of like trillions of cells. That's a lot of zeros. That's a lot of cells. Now, the functions that the cell carry out, again, the three functions that you have to remember is number one, the, the cell actually has, uh, will undergo cell division. It will undergo cell division. You will undergo respiration and you will undergo the process of photosynthesis. So all these three processes you have to know and you have to know um, the purpose of all the three processes. Okay, so again, the cell division one, we got the three purposes of cell division. Do you remember what are the three purposes? Why do I need to cell divide? Why do cell cell divide? So repair, replace, damage or worn out cells. Okay, repair or you replace. Damage or we want out cells. Imagine why do I need to have a lot of cells? Suddenly got a lot. Like from one cell become two, become four, become eight, become 32, become many, many, many more. Why? What's the purpose of that? For for the for the living thing to what? To grow. Grow. Okay, because the bigger your body gets, of course you need more cells to have your big a bigger body in the first place. Because your whole body is made of cells. This one is for reproduction. So there's three. Yeah? One is to repair, replace, damage one of cells. Second one is to grow. And third one is to reproduce. Reproduce meaning we're looking at um, the egg cell fusing with the sperm cell to form one cell. Then you will divide and divide and divide in the womb. And then you will actually form your fetus. And your fetus will actually develop into a baby. Okay, so that is your reproduction. And these will be covered further in your reproduction in humans chapter topic okay next one is the respiration respiration are looking at two uh ingredients that you need you need your oxygen you need your digested food okay and what's the purpose of respiration why do why do all living things respire release energy yes you need energy and what else do you release besides energy release? Remember, when you breathe in, you take in oxygen, right? When you breathe out, what are you breathing out most of the time? Carbon dioxide. Yes, correct. Okay, but of course, your body doesn't want the carbon dioxide. That's why it's removed from your body. Once they respire, they have energy already, right? Your brain has energy, your muscles have energy. Then you also release carbon dioxide. Again, you will go back to the blood. Then the blood will transport it back to the lungs and the lungs will exhale out the carbon dioxide clear so you don't want this you only want energy so all living things including plants are uh, plants also produce carbon dioxide and also release energy plants need energy for growth and for all the processes like photosynthesis respiration and all these things as well next one photosynthesis i'm, I'm not going to go through it's not easy Next one is your cells. So there's two types of cells, unicellular and multicellular. I've covered this before. Again, you don't have to memorize the three uh, types of unicellular cells. Just make sure you recognize them. That means if I show you this name in your MCQs, you're supposed to know that they are actually belonging to a unicellular cell, only one cell. So again, they're so small, we cannot see them. What are the three animal cells that you must remember in your syllabus? The cheek cell. Then? The sperm cell. Then? Blood cell. Yes, red blood cell. Okay, so the three cells. Again, you must know the different parts. Huh? Nuclear cell membrane cytoplasm. Your sperm also nuclear cell membrane cytoplasm. All right, so what is the next? We have plant cells. What are the two plant cells? Uh, the leaf cell and the root cell. 
Yes, very good. The leaf cell, root cell. What's so special about both cells as compared to animal cells? What do animal oh, cells? Cell very good. The cell wall is the one that, that differentiates animal and plant. Okay. How about what differentiates between the plant and roots? What's the, what's the difference? The plant, the leaf cell has chloroplast. Okay, very good. So again, when we look at root cell, right? What's so special about the root cell? How come this extra thing? Huh? This long elongated protrusion. Make the process of absorbing water and mineral salt faster. Very good. Okay, and everything you are, you are basically increasing the surface area of the root in contact with the soil to absorb water and mineral salts faster because everything can go in faster. Got more surface area to go into. Hannah? So why do plant why do root cells do not, not have any chloroplasts? Why? It's underground and has no contact with the sunlight at all. Very good. So when you were answering such questions, right? Why no chloroplasts? You have to tell me that the root cell, root cell is found underground. Okay. And is not exposed to sunlight. Exposed to sunlight. Okay. For, for what happens? For 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 what to happen? like for photosynthesis to make its own food so, so you must tell me the fruit cell is found on the ground not exposed to sunlight for photosynthesis for photosynthesis to make its own food that is the reason why it has no chloroplast 